Well, hello there. I am back with my raspy voice and it's getting a little bit scary. But we're running out of time here in Peru. It's actually our last day here in Lima. So we've decided to do one more taste test and we're gonna be trying three different desserts that were actually recommended by you, our YouTube viewers. So let's get started. Right, so time for the big unveil. So first up, we are trying something called Masamorra Morada. So as you can see, it's deep purple in color. Um, and this is like a pudding or a really thick jello almost. And it's made from purple corn. It's a dessert. You can eat it hot or you can eat it cold. And it's actually a popular dish during the month of October because that's when they celebrate the Lord of Miracles and everyone dresses in purple and they also eat purple dessert. Okay. So I'm not really sure how much of this I'm actually going to be able to taste because I am highly medicated right now. But let's see. Mmm. Okay. It has like a, a puree consistency. Mm. A little clumpy. Mm. Not overly sweet, and I wouldn't say it tastes like corn, because a lot of sugar has been added to this. But it's pleasant. I do like it. That is the verdict, yeah. I think it's probably a lot nicer when it's warm like when they've just finished cooking it on the pot and it's still steaming. Um, but it's nice, I think you can still eat it cold in the summertime. I don't mind it. Hmm. All right, my turn. Yeah, that's that's not bad. It's, it's really unique, isn't it? It's sort of like the chicha morada a little bit. Kind of reminds me of that. The purple corn drink we've been having. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a smooth pudding. So here in Peru, they like to mix the masamorra morada, the purple thing we just had, with arroz con leche, which is a rice pudding. Oh, so, that looks so good. We are going to try that combination right now. My mom makes an awesome rice pudding. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll add a bit of that. And now let's take some of the purple stuff. Okay, now I'm not sure if you're supposed to mix it together or just combine the two flavors in one spoonful. Oh man, there's like dog hair here. Jeez, it's <laughs> everywhere. Mackie attacked yet again. It's everywhere, man. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> well, honestly, I think rice should be savory. When I eat rice, I always like it to be salty and full of spices. So I don't love it as a dessert. So I can't say I'm a huge fan of this. Um, I'm gonna have another another bite. Would you prefer it on its own? Like the first dessert on its own? Probably. Mm. It's all right. Why don't you give it a try and you tell us what you think? All right, I'm gonna go in for the mix here. I am mixing it up. No idea if I'm supposed to be doing that or not. Okay, and this is what it looks like when it's all mixed up. I'm a huge fan of rice pudding, so for me that's a definite enhancement. That's like taking the first one and upgrading it by at least 50%. Okay, and last but not least, we picked up a third dessert item at the supermarket. And this is called puré de camote and it is a puree made from sweet potato. That almost looks like a butterscotch mm -hmm. pudding. I bet that's gonna be good. Right. Let's 
Let's see. Looks like baby food. <laughs> I wonder if parents buy it for their children. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yucky. Oh, it's too much like baby food. How do you even know what baby food tastes like? I like, just do. when is the last time you tried baby food? <laughs> like, it's not exclusively sweet or savory, so it's weird. Is it a pudding? Is it supposed to be eaten as a as a side order with your main dish? But it was in the in the dessert section. That's the thing. So, I was expecting it to be sweeter. I can tell by your micro bites, you're not exactly loving it. I'm not a huge fan, but I'll let you give it a try next. You're right, that, that is not amazing stuff. To be perfectly honest, I, I have no idea what you would use that for. Like it's not... It's not sweet or tasty enough to be a dessert. I'm not sure how you would pair that with a main meal. I wonder if maybe we're supposed to mix it with rice pudding like you know we what? did with the purple Maybe one. we bought baby food by accident. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, right? You just never know. All right, so that wraps up our last taste test in Peru. We're heading back to Canada. It's hard to believe our three and a half weeks here is, uh, is already over. And the verdict for this? Well, I really like these two but the camote was uh, a thumbs down.